I must admit, I had a bit of a lie in before getting up and rustling some pots and pans. Slide out, gas on, pan on, flame on, bacon on, eggs in, voila, the breakfast of champions. As the great Daryl Kerrigan would say, how's the serenity? After breakfast, back to the park, a change of clothes and on the road. Yeah, I changed clothes as well. Not that you can tell, but I did. I thought that was a pretty sharp gag. Not as sharp as it could have been. All's well that ends well. Well, we're on the last leg of our journey to Cooper Pedy, and I've got to say, I'm getting pretty excited to be touching down in uh, the land of opals. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to catching up with Macca too, because um, it's been a while since we've seen each other, and uh, I'm really keen to hear about his travels as well. I don't think I'll go anywhere in Australia now and not see a power line. Well, they sure make everything big in the outback. Big sunsets, big skies, big landscape, and big trains. You know, I feel a little bit sad to be leaving Moora because, um, you know, I think you can you can live there quite easily and make some really genuine friends that would last a lifetime. You get out of town a few k's, and then there comes a point where the oncoming traffic just do the the old two fingers, you know, the hand the hand wave off the steering wheel, and it's so cool because it's this unspoken rule that they're having just as good a time as you are. But for now, I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy this amazing scenery. 